What's going on guys? Sam Adams here and welcome to On The Topic Of, which is a series I do right here on my YouTube channel every single Friday where I choose a piece of news that's been in the video game news or technology industry spotlight and I give my thoughts and opinions on it and let you guys know what's up. And this week we're going to be talking about YouTube Red, which is a new subscription service that YouTube announced earlier this week that's coming out very soon and offers some more options for you guys, the viewers that uh, take the time to watch YouTube videos on a daily or weekly basis. It sounds pretty interesting and I wanted to go ahead and go a little bit further in depth with it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. So what are some of the features of this service? Add free videos to start off with, which is something that the YouTube community has been wanting for a very long time. And of course, the first thought that you probably had is that, well, there's ad block out there. Why don't I just go ahead and do that? Well, I made a video on this a couple of months ago whenever ad block was actually kind of blocked by YouTube in some parts of the world. Uh, but if you install ad block, it blocks all the ads. But at the same time, the content creators that work hard to make videos like myself don't get compensated fairly for the amount of work that they put into it. And ultimately, they they can't you know su sustain themselves in the long run especially if this is their full-time job so YouTube red is kind of offering um people a way to take away the ads from their videos while also supporting the creators that they all know and love and enjoy content from. Uh, the thing is YouTube Red is actually giving us 55% of the amount of revenue that is being brought in by each video which I suppose is okay. Uh, for those that uh, use this as a full-time job it's probably not the best option but it's still better than nothing from Adblock. Next up offline playback is something that is a long time coming with YouTube uh, especially because of the kind of videos that are produced. For instance if you enjoy a podcast on a weekly basis, uh, I like to watch Painkiller already with Woody's Gamertag and FPS Russia, but if you watch those things on a weekly basis, you'll know that the videos are a huge part of the entire podcast, and if you don't have those, you're kind of missing out on part of the experience. Well, YouTube Red allows you to download that, and you can enjoy that wherever you are without Wi-Fi, without 4G, using a ton of data. It's just a very convenient way to do things, and also if you like to watch uh, video game walkthroughs, if you use them while you're playing video games, if you see a cooking video and you want to try it later, but you know, you'll be at your grandma's house where you guys are cooking and you have no Wi-Fi just for instance uh, you can download the video and play it back at a later time which I think is something that is a pretty cool feature next up another feature that's great for podcast background play which is pretty much where YouTube runs in the background and it uh, allows you to listen to the audio of videos as you work out or work or you know do school work or whatever you want to do you can listen to that audio in the background uh, this is kind of like a twitch feature that's in the twitch app where it's actually a, a pop-out player which is something I hope YouTube introduces is somewhere along the line but if you go into twitch you start up a live stream you can actually select the pop out player and that means that a little box will pop up on your phone and you can actually go and watch uh, twitch streams while you do other stuff like check twitter check facebook check all of your other social media uh, type of text you can just continue watching a live stream and that's a feature that i'm hoping youtube introduces somewhere along the line but at the same time uh, background play is a starting place and at least it's a step in the right direction Thrown in with this YouTube Red is another app called YouTube Music, which is pretty much just like Pandora. You go in, select an artist you want to listen to, and you get that artist along with other artists that are similar to it, and it pretty much functions identical to Pandora. But if that doesn't sound like something you're interested in, a Google Play Music subscription is also thrown in with your YouTube Red. So if you don't already have Spotify, Pandora, Amazon Instant Music, you know, if you don't have any of these things, if you don't just go listen to music on YouTube, you can check out this uh, new subscription service from YouTube Red and get that Google Play Music service for free. Now this is where it gets interesting. This new stuff called YouTube Red Originals, which is pretty much original content, uh, kind of like how Hulu Plus and Amazon Prime and Netflix all have original content. Uh, I'm most familiar with Netflix, so for instance, House of Cards, Narcos, uh, Orange is the New Black, these are just a couple of original shows that Netflix has made themselves, and YouTube is looking to get into that kind of space. However, not with famous stars and stuff, but with the stars of YouTube. Uh, for instance, the Fine Bros, PewDiePie, Rooster Teeth, all these guys are getting in to doing this kind of YouTube Red original stuff, and the shows actually sound pretty interesting. For instance, you've got Sing It, which is pretty much just taking a look at the way the culture has changed because of all the music shows that are on television now. You've got Fight of the Living Dead, which is pretty much where you get a whole bunch of big YouTubers together and test their gaming abilities in real life situations against zombies, which sounds like something that the YouTube community would jump all over. And then you've got Laser Team, which is a very very original kind of idea and all of these things are just examples of how diverse the YouTube Red Originals kind of thing is looking and it's cool because the viewers get to watch their favorite YouTubers kind of come
come together and uh, do different competitions, do different kinds of shows, and it makes a whole new kind of entertainment that still involves the people we all know and love to watch on YouTube. Ultimately, would I recommend this service? Uh, if you are a YouTube addict, absolutely. It sounds like something that would be very interesting and very useful for you in the long run if you listen to podcasts on YouTube. If you really like the community, for instance, PewDiePie, all of the large YouTubers, if you like to watch stuff from the Fine Bros, College Humor, all these guys are getting into this new YouTube Red thing, and you might get a lot out of it, especially considering that the price tag is only $9.99 a month, which rivals the price tags of Hulu Plus, Netflix, and Amazon Prime Instant Video. But where this really holds a lot of value for me is in the YouTube Red Originals, because original content is where a lot of companies are making a lot of strides in entertainment in general, just because House of Cards would never have come to be. Kevin Spacey's career has absolutely skyrocketed since that, and it's just making a whole new form of the entertainment industry that we never really expected to see, and it's awesome to see that YouTube is incorporating these small-time YouTube stars into that kind of environment so that we can really see them thrive and flourish going forward. So if you want to give this new subscription service a shot before you dish out the $9.99 a month, you can actually check out the blog post down below. It goes into a little bit more detail, but there is going to be one month for free so that you can check out those YouTube Red Originals. You can see all the new features of this new service and give them all a shot before you really lock down and decide you want to dish out 10 bucks a month for just pretty much what's YouTube on steroids. So there you guys have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, drop me a like down below and comment what you think about YouTube Red. Is it a good service? Will you subscribe to it? What subscriptions do you already have and do you think YouTube can compete with those? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And if you are new to the channel or you've never seen any of my other videos, I upload new stuff like three or four days a week depending on the week. So there's always something new right here on the YouTube channel when you drop by to watch some videos. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this particular video. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.